Nigga, if you do that, say you see. What's that? It's my gun. It's called a switch. What you need it for? Man, for protection. I got ops out here. Ops? Man, back in the day, this all the protection I needed. This to take care of all. Yeah, that's what they made it for, niggas like you. Keep that motherfucker just like that, huh? I promise you, you gonna fight for your life. Oh, you said you got that one from them? My partner around the street, he be making them. So you think I can get one of them motherfuckers? Yeah, but they illegal. That's the one everybody get? Yeah, but they sell out fast. Okay, okay. Shit, see if you can find me one of them motherfuckers now. I got you, I'm gonna see what I can do. Shit, it's called a switch. Yup. Okay. All right. Hey, stay out of trouble, goddamn. Yo, so I'm back in here for another edition of your mother. It looks like my goddamn camera is fucking off. And it's the news segment. It says a 14 year old boy was arrested after Detroit raid found illegal 3D printed gun operation. Authorities seized the 3D printer, 12 handgun lowers, five rifle lowers, and 3D printed Glock switches from the home where the operation was based. So basically he was getting money and the fucking government took it upon themselves to intervene even though they letting illegals in this goddamn country but a 14 year old can't make a living now he probably was making anywhere between two and five thousand dollars a month i call that entrepreneurship right industrials industrialism um even if it is making um uh, weapons to shoot other people now i understand this is america and america is not a country it's a company and who the fuck am I to stand in the way of a 14 year old that's enterprising right if niggas want to shoot niggas I'm gonna make a dollar um, now he should be reading his books and getting his studies on but you cannot deny the tenacity of the young brother he was trying and I ain't even saying brother I don't know if he was black he could be white with all that hardware he probably wasn't a brother but we just gonna say for the sake it was in Detroit that he was black it's entrepreneurship at its finest I think he need probation He need a mentor And he need a program To direct his abilities Into another direction As opposed to making 3D printed guns Maybe he can make 3D printed objects To help people right Water apparatuses Or I don't know baseball bats <laughs> But you cannot deny the tenacity of the young dude now i don't think he need to be arrested right he's 14 years old like i said he need a program he need a mentor and he need somebody to redirect his energies and something more productive other than making contraptions that shoot other people but like i'm saying this is america and if people want to shoot people right i might as well make the product in any event i'm not condoning this shit <laughs> but i don't think he need to be jailed i've been 14 years old keep a young nigga out of jail just Seize the shit and you know, give him probation and put him on a path to, I don't know, some type of pro. They need to carve out a program in Detroit to help young entrepreneurial spirited people like make a difference. He didn't have, clearly, he didn't have anybody directing him. It probably was an older nigga or the internet that was giving him these bright ass ideals. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even be mad. I'm just glad I'm not in Detroit. You he, he putting out traps out there to get your ass shot off. In any event, if you like this episode, you know what to do, and I'm out.